Welcome back. You're watching Ian King live from the heart of the city. Now, we take them for granted now, and you've just watched a few yourself, but it's 60 years ago today since the very first TV advert was broadcast. In a minute, we'll find out what makes a memorable commercial, but first, let's have a look at some of Britain's favourites from across the decades, including that very first TV ad from 1955. It's tingling fresh. It's fresh as ice. It's Gibbs SR toothpaste. Holidays are egg-shaped. Yes, but you're not, are you? <coughs> so much for the saucy French waitress. Ah, oh, well, vive les oeufs. No Nick, no garlic. And Michael. Remember Preston. Joe Pettian is an, eco an executive partner at the ad agency, J. Walter Thompson. Joe, has TV advertising lost its, its way now? I mean, digital seems to have taken over, doesn't it? I'm not at all. I think that uh, TV viewing is going up year on year, um, and it's never been in ruder health. Yes, the environment has changed enormously with the advent of digital media, different channels. Uh, it's a very different world from back in the day, back in 1955, when mm. there was one terrestrial media channel that was commercial. But things have moved on enormously. Technology, ways of doing things, and the different tools we've got at our disposal to make great work like the work we've just seen. Mm, but when you and your colleagues are sitting down to plan a campaign, do you, do you think about the TV attack first and foremost, or are you thinking of print, outdoor, or, or the digital? It's space? much more, I mean, we call it channel agnostic. It's much more uh, balanced in the way we approach things. So we approach the problem first, and then we look at what the best way to deploy our resources and deploy money and investment against that challenge. So sometimes that can be television for certain challenges and equally it might be press, it might be digital, it might be all sorts of different things that we'll use uh, if we can. Well, is TV advertising as good as it used to be? I mean, you think back of the golden age of advertising in, on telly, the 70s, the Martians, the PG Tips chimps. I mean, what have we got these days to compete with that? The meerkats probably. Well, I don't want to take you through all our advertising at J. Will Thompson, but uh, there's plenty of good stuff out there. It's getting better and better. And actually, we've just uh, done a survey uh, which shows that people today, 70% of people today, actually think that there's more creativity in advertising today than there was back, back, in, back in the 50s and 60s and all 70s. All right. We'll take a look at these. These are the, uh, this was the public's favourite, first of all, when they were polled by Marketing Magazine. Any time now, here it comes. And then the other one, this was the ad, in agency's, uh, ad industry's favourite one, which was the Guinness advert. Here we come, get the gorilla off. There we go. He waits. That's what he does. And I'll tell you what. Tick followed talk followed tick followed talk followed tick. There you go. What do you, what do you make of those two? I mean, great examples of advertising at its best. Um, you know, it's about creating stories. It's about touching people. It's about yeah, empathising with people. And both these ads completely different and differentiated in their category. They broke new ground and their audiences lapped it up, literally. They lapped it up because it was so engaging and interesting. Right, well, we saw the Smirnoff ad just now. That was one of yours. But which is the campaign that you've been most personally proud of? Well, it depends. As a punter, I'm very proud of Smirnoff work and, and, and other work like it. But uh, for me, I suppose HSBC advertising, it's a, a really enormous brand uh, with a wonderful presence around the world that we've, we've grown through the airports. And I think people going on holiday or travelling on business will have you know, said goodbye to HSBC in one market and said hello when they arrive at their destination in the next. So I'm very proud of that airport advertising. Very good. All right. Well, we've got to leave it there. But uh, Joe Petian from Joe Walter Thompson, thanks for joining us. Thanks so much.